Hello everyone, my name is Olive Maltese and welcome back to the Radrim campaign. In the last episode, we started the war with Kant, we managed to take Chalka with ease, and then we managed to kill them in a quite an easy siege, in all honesty, there's just a bunch of cavalry and we had pikemen, and then we had the crazy field battle outside Stralusta Kant. Uh, I did decide to give it a, <laughs> to risk it all and go straight for the capital with my faction leader, uh, we don't have a lot of cavalry, but and this army is really beaten up. I think I'm ex what I'm expecting to happen in the end turn is this captain to attack me at the capital. I'm just trying to beat them there. Uh, I have to think about it for <laughs> for a while, for a few days actually, um, because I uploaded the video about two days ago. Uh, I've decided that when we take Kant, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna like sack it and then go and try and defend Kizilcum. Because we are making enough money now so that we can start building up our economy. Because we are getting to the point where we are long but not tall. And how this game works is it's better to be tall so that we deal with corruption and stuff like that. This army at the bridge, uh, I'm gonna let, I'm still going to wait for them to attack because meeting them in the field would probably be like... That, that would smash us with what we got. Orders. We, we got basic infantry. At a bridge battle, though, we would beat them. Those trollmen would completely ruin them. Got a lot of skirmisher units. Uh, I don't think I got anything else to do this turn. I can't build anything. Uh, we do have our spies moving around. He's going into Rohan. And we have our other diplomat in Dale, Farazon. But. He is, I'm waiting for the mission so I can get extra bonuses from it because. Actually, do you know what? We're gonna just get yes, what is it the map information just so we can get a bit more money. I do not oh, they're bankrupt as well. Good day to you. Right, there we are. That's all I can do. Moving on. <laughs> okay. I bring word from my people. Oh, they, they can trade with us now. Fantastic news. Um, yeah, give us some money, though. Give us... One, two. Maybe. They must border us. Do not they must have taken Ostithil. Meaning we have a border of them now. Oh. Well, they didn't attack us at... They didn't finish the siege at Kizakum. They just backed off. One thing I want to quickly explain, um, I don't think the game explains it, and I don't. it's something that I didn't learn for a long time playing this game. There is no point in getting trade rights with anyone if they're not bordering your your um, your um, empire. Like so, so say, for example, when I started the campaign, there's no point getting a, a trade right, like just a final there's no point getting trade rights with, uh, with the Isle of Denium because they had no border with them. But as soon as we got Tal Al Jaff, it would allow us to trade with them. And that's how the game works. So same with the ports as well. So say if I had the port, if I built a big trade port, which I don't have yet, then I could probably trade with all these coastal regions, and that would give us trade. So that's why I didn't back a few turns ago. I didn't get the trade rights with Mordor because we didn't have a board with them, and they have no ports. Just a little uh, little tip for the for the game. If you want to cheese it in quotations. Uh, just sell the map information, but don't do trade rights. Unless the game gives you the quest for some stupid reason, even though it doesn't do anything for you. Alright, anyway. So they didn't attack us. I think if I do attack the capital, they will get um, a garrison unit. Yes, noble. I will build we close for battle. some siege equipment though, just to, just in case. Strike. They're still doing nothing My there. I think we're just going to keep watching their, that city. Because they're just moving armies back and forth, but not actually doing anything. Kind of worried they are moving west though. If they hit us at Amran or Finabel, we are going to be in a bit of trouble. But they are just seem to be moving between these two, re like between the the bridge and Karandaj. Again though, because I have no money, I can't really do anything right now. 
Uh, got this guy. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce. Huth, Huth far. That's quite easy to see actually. Excuse me. Ender drafts reached. I shall continue on my way. A lot of, a lot of devastation. Well, a bit of devastation here and yet. So that means Isengard are pushing it quite far. Okay, that's all I could do. So, moving on. Ah, right, here we are. Just as I thought they would do. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Horse archers. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like I can win this. The pikemen are going to be the defining factor. They have a lot of archers, though. Um, I probably will probably try and defend further back because I can't won't be able to do the same thing as I did in that other battle where I took out their support and army straight away. But we'll have a we'll have a look. We'll have a look when we get on the battle map. <laughs> right, let's go. We shall all find a way to an honorable victory. Yeah. So we're just gonna have to defend further back, I think. Shame I've no arts left. He's taking a big risk, I think, actually fighting this one. The enemy show their cowardice. They bring in reinforcements. Hmm. Got a lot of quite a little amount of archers actually. Uh, let's kind of group them up together. Okay, they don't want to move. <laughs> Weird. It's kind of, I'm really concerned about their um, horse archers. Not their amount of archers, probably. I think that if I was, if I do get quite lucky and take out the general quite early on. Some crazy maneuvers, I think. Actually, that's going to be their marauders. So, no matter how it's meant. Oh, okay, go back. Oh, <laughs> slow down, slow it right down. No retreating. No surrender. Lucky enough, they're just going to send mar the marauders right into my pike line. Just get them into spear wall. Oh, what have I done? I've messed this fight up, I think. Lose the general actually really early on, which would be a massive bonus for us. Come on, get back behind, get back behind. Alright, need to get those archers close, their uh, cab archers closer. Shoot them. The 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 ah, there we are. That's a great start for us. Just get down to him. Oh, that's one unit down. No, 
Stop. Carnage Raiders because they're the only unit I'm kind of really concerned about. Is because we have so many archers, it's giving us a bit of like they're hitting our oh, yes, fools, fantastic. They just took themselves out of the battle. I need to just stay where you are, as well as these guys, stay where you are. No, <laughs> another another unit I'm really concerned about. Um, I'll look at that. Get that behind. Get them back actually. I got an idea. I think I gotta try and take out their general and this unit is gonna be the best thing for that. The sun that shines on our disgrace. We must turn the wind of battle, or we will face ashes instead of victory. Hit them. Like that. Cover the general. Ruin the morale. Get them in. That is broken. Push them up. Just an absolute mess in there now. I get my cat archers to actually just shoot at everything because they are... Oh, look at this big push. Reform the line. Ah, oh, the nobles are going on really fast as well. Just get a good charge. Should break them. Leadless, steep men. Come on. Yes! So Only bad. half the enemy force remains. I'm afraid they lose their will to oh. fight. Ah, oh, yes! That's going to be an excellent charge. That should bring them straight away. For the moment, the fickle smile of fortune shines upon us. Pray this is a portent of a victory. Just break them. 
breaking them as quick as possible. These people are doing their job, there's only two of them left. All the units are starting to break now. They're gone too. Again, because I'm a, is absolutely decimating the forces. Get rid of these archers. Maybe a better charge would have been nicer. So I'm going to reform the line and get a big charge in. Look at that, it's really in our favour now. 46 to 68. General is almost down, so it's just him left in that in that unit. And then charge. <laughs> it's a lone rider. Only half the enemy force remains. We must That's their second they force. Their fight. Just waiting for their general to go down. As soon as that goes down, their entire that entire army will just break them. Well, we defeat the first one. The That's the big army done. Just waiting for the general to go down, and then we have won. They won't come back at all now because the entire army is broken. Them off. Our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. <sighs> I'm just thinking now, do the does their general die if he should do? Hopefully he'll go down he won't, he won't. Okay. Um what I'm gonna do then I'm gonna fast forward this just to clean this up. And then skip it probably for you guys, so you don't have to see this because it is a bit boring. The enemy must oh. curse the day they were born. <laughs> what a win! And Kazima right healing again over a hundred units, which is fantastic. Um, that's the Gander Kazima. Not surprised. He absolutely carried that. The Warband doing having an excellent showing on that one. Uh, the Pikeman just held the line. Um, it's kind of a bit difficult again because of the archers, but you know, Kazima just <laughs> took the fight to them in that one. Uh, I think hopefully we do take the settlement because they sallied out. So, and just to check, we do decimate that force as well. So that's another big army gone. So back to the campaign map. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna execute them, and we do get the bridge battle. Oh. Two big battles in the same end turn. Just a captain as well. Okay, this one should be an absolute slaughter on the bridge. They do have cav archers though, but because of the way the bridge works, they're just going to try and force themselves over. Let's go and complete. Like, <laughs> we're pretty much going to half uh, Khan's army in two battles. So let's go. With that What we, oh, a lot of archers. Oh, we have a really. <laughs> I have accidentally made a really, really good unit. Trollmen. Spearmen. Okay. Uh, come on, Skiltron. Uh, now put these guys together. This guy's back. I do not want him in the front because he will probably die straight away because custom units always do. Forward a bit. He goes forward, and then he goes forward. These guys go like that, and like that. And uh, these two archers over here. And these two archers over here. 
And then these guys in the centre here. And so <laughs> we put them in the... <laughs> like that. And then... Group these up. And make up for that. Uh, let's get them... Uh, one enemy running. Okay, let's go. The enemy show their cowardice. They bring in reinforcements. So we'll spread them out. Guard, everyone guard. A full fight oh before is made of clay. We are winning the battle. Look at that. <laughs> so many arrows. 10% gone already. Uh, yeah, they're, they're guarding. Uh, they're guarding too. This one's going to be an archer. The archer's going to get an absolute. Going to get so many kills, I think. Let's charge him in. I'll probably zoom out because my game will do <laughs> The game's just going to have a little bit of a meltdown, I think. Look at that. Just shooting into the crowd. We've lost those six units. Get a full fight with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Um. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. We are losing quite a bit of units. We have cut off the serpent's head. Oh, that's. Uh, there, that's done. Done now. That, that yeah, army completely gone. Uh, we're gonna get our. Where did they come from? Our enemy flees before us like a herd okay, that's of the dogs. army done. Drive them from the battle. Uh, we'll get them off fire at will mode for now. Get these guys back in formation. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. Just wanna completely crush that force so capture as many of them as possible. Look at that. Uh, they're too far away, they're gone. Okay, here comes their second force. Yeah, they've got a lot of men just trapped in the middle there. Spear oh, man. Man. Spear. Out of there, get out of there. I know you want to fight, but right now I need you to not fight and run away. <laughs> I need you to get back into formation. Okay, let's start firing. Being a bit more intelligent, this army. I mean, they're already breaking because they're just really confused. Uh, we are going to lose a lot of those units, but I don't really mind because they are just cannon fodder for us. As bad as it sounds, they are literally just there to. Take the brunt of the attacks. As far as I saw them, I'm kind of worried about. I say only kind of because they've already lost quite a few of their force. Right, charging. Starting to lose a few more units because of the amount of arrows flying into the <laughs> into the crowd. This force should just break really quickly because the first general's gone down. Right, these guys come up here. And we'll group the 
Force has already grouped up quite a bit. Okay. The enemy's general lies and that dead. one's gone too, and then they're all just breaking again. Doom upon them. Like water on rock. Um. Are they retreating? I think they're. I think they're falling back. Uh, let's get my ass to stop firing for now. As we want to. Shooting at someone, but they're hitting at my own men. Uh, let's just go into a full charge. Fast forward a bit. Yeah, I think I think they are, yeah they are. Just I thought. <coughs> they they I think the yeah, you know they can't win this one. So many men, so many of the imp their units just went down and up. And we get these. Their ammo, so I could probably Victory is well within our grasp. utilize that I'm to my advantage. Surely see this and lose heart. Oh, no, they are not going to do that. So just stop. Our enemy flees before oh, us yeah. like a hell of a battle. And the battle's done. One Run army will get away, but you know, a thousand captures. That's the battle done, isn't it? Nope, one more little guy there. The and there we are. The day they were born. Let all the poets write oh, of this most we lost a lot style. more due to friendly fire, which is a shame. But. Look at that. Our basic archers getting 214 kills. Crazy showing. The Haradrim Spearmen, uh, one of them, they all did. Uh, not that great to be honest, more losses than kills. I mean it was a lot, you know, 57 friendly fire, 16 plus 9 friendly fire, which is quite a lot to be honest. We did heal quite a few of them. But uh, we will take out one of their forces at least, the other one only lost half. And we'll see, we could ransom them. We do need the money right now, so and we could win that battle again quite easily. So let's just see what it's like on the campaign map. 5,000. No! Right. Stack that. Man of Honor, yeah, I'll take him. Master Sharian Guild, yeah, go on. Sister so Khan's lost. Yep, yeah, I get that a lot. Um, a lot of money coming in. Shooter Khan is a really good region, but we can't hold it, so we're gonna How may I serve? fall back to Kizilcum because we'll be able to hold that at least. I won't, I won't uh, devastate the land because that is just too much of a, too much cheese. Um, Conquer Kand, I like that. I Noble like that a lot. You can see he's lost a lot, of, a lot of forces. Uh, we do want to. Pretty much prioritize the building there, so we're going to stop that. Right, these buildings stop. Stop, we do. Uh, we're going to, yeah, town guard, that would be really good for us, so we're going to get that in. Because we do have, it's not, the cost is not bad, 23%, you'll be able to get. Yeah, get that in, and then we start building that again. John, I'm actually gonna leave it just to save some money. Ordered. Uh, get that in to get some more money in. I will not waste words. Orders. My eyes are great. Where 
Where's that army gone? Did they maybe fall back to try and relieve them at Orders. there? Uh, I will not waste words on you. Orders. I'll put that unit Orders. in there just to help them as defend that, and then Orders. they're gonna push on to Karen Dodge. End this day as victor. My ears are red. Okay. Uh, that's An all for this turn. So moving on. Then Harrow. Four speeds guild in Shelka. Yeah, I got him. Within the realm. Get a merch unit. Yes, yes take that. Is what is it you wish oh, they have money. Uh, give us some of your money. One, four, maybe. Fantastic. Until we meet again. Yeah, they're rioting. We know. Rajam tribe, archers, okay. Let's get my pikemen. Start forcing them forward. Okay. Uh, we have made quite a bit of money in that last turn, so. Uh, 52. <laughs> 52. <laughs> Four eighty something, not really worth it for now. Technically, growth, but we're not really looking for growth right now. Kind of dodge, maybe. We should be looking to build some of our, yeah, trollman warriors. Yep, yeah, get that in. I respect you. There's an army I was looking for. My there will be much honor in defeating you. Okay, John, do fall back to the bridge. Wait for the pikemen to As come up. Will. Rest here until dawn. Uh, can we build cavalry anywhere? I thought we built a. Where did I build a ah, cavalry barracks? Oh, here. It's here. Okay, that's fine if that waits a few turns actually. Just get yes, him. Yes, I will not waste words on you. This will be. I will not waste words on that's you. That's actually that. We close for battle. Oops. You can don't converge. Ah, oh, god for that. And courage and triumph. At once. Um, now this is our region, so we're gonna and build some. Um, what salvage it? Setting a watch here. We move at first light. A gold chev. Wow, gold armor. Oh, they have the best. We have our best blacksmith here, which is fantastic. Really amazing for our pikemen. Tomorrow's journey away. Okay. Um, Westfold, let's see what's going on. Hornburg. Ginyard's taken, so it's Foldburg. And that's again all I can do for this turn. Hopefully that goes Rebel rather than back to Khan, but I think it will go Khan because it was their former capital. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go back to... The Khan of Run is dead. So this can't be taken. Khan is again under siege. Uh, <laughs> okay. Gondor and Lamoth are allies now, which is going to be a bit difficult for us. And a racing Gondor as well. Uh, put him serve. in here. Yes. And Kizukum actually makes his money now, which it wasn't. As well as... Because I'm being free upkeep. Uh, Chalka's built that. We have more culture coming in now. Unit's gonna get. I think it is just the one. Let's go for. Oh, that'll give us a 
and access to see gold per turn, and we will get some more public order. Find a bell, got Bevatana, upgrade my units. Uh, we're going to look to upgrade that soon. Okay, move the pikemen onto the boats. East. We are building those horses, fantastic. It's garrisoned Cut and Dodge with a full army. And Kalikmir is still under rebel control, which is good. We can get the Ballista as well. Kind of a bit stretched at the moment. We do want to win at Cut and Dodge before we move on and Kalikmir. But we feel a lot I feel a lot more secure now. Having one at Setting a watch here. Yes. Even though they've taken it back, uh, they're going to have the script with the wizard soon, which is going to, like, we can't, we're not able to blitz them, I don't think. We just haven't got the means or the funds to do so. Again, enough ra rambling, so let us move on. Okay, Krak uh, yeah, let's get that in because that's where we actually retra retrain our horses. A lot of them have built the Mason's Hall. I respect you in battle. I don't want to look at him. Orders. As you will. Okay. Oh dear. Um, let's get some more, let's get the brothel in, just so we can get some more happiness. I know it doesn't look, oh yeah, not in this one. Uh, okay, then, that in, that'll increase our money. And then, yeah, there that's something I'll deal with next turn. Oh, uh, next episode, sorry. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, it was more of just finishing off the raid at Strusikand. They did, it did revolt back to them, but I'm thinking that's going to change in the next probably five to ten turns. Uh, Kislecum has now been built up. Uh, we once Kislecum is built up a bit, we can finally push in and properly take out Kand once for all. Uh, we have the force. Well, the ballista being built at Fina Belt. That was going to be good in taking Ankaramir, but again, our situation requires us to take Karan Daj first. It seems like something's happening down in the south because there's some devastation there, so that means Kand maybe, or, or the Ar Adonayim have moved in. Um, let's see, they're just building a force at Karan Daj, which I really want to deal with as soon as possible. So, probably in the next episode, that's going to be the goal. Our pikemen units will be there, and we have the cavalry, so we'll have the forces to do it. So, thank you again for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next one.